Welcome. Today we are going to look at the Lilua, Lilua pathway, the Lilua pathway, or the Galactose metabolism. So Lilua pathway is involved in the metabolism of Galactose. Remember, the Galactose is a hexose sugar. Other hexose sugars include glucose. We also have manose. We also have fructose. So those are the other hexoses. So, but today we are going to look at the Lilua pathway. So, Lilua pathway is named after Luis Lilua. Luis Lilua. Uh, an Argentinian biochemist, an Argentinian biochemist who discovered this pathway. So, so he discovered it in the year 1974, if uh, you are uh, interested in that. And uh, he also won a Nobel Prize in Science. Those are just by the ways. So let's look at the Rua pathway. The Rua pathway, here we usually start with a beta, a beta D galactose. Beta D galactose. I know you have forgotten the beta and the alpha configuration and the D and L configuration. So I might remind you. So let's take here. So I I will draw. Let's let's assume the that this drawing will be for beta D galactose. So how will it look? Beta in the beta position. Uh, maybe I should first. This this carbon here is carbon number one. This one. This is number two. This is number three here. Number four will be here. Number five will be here. Number six here. Let me even start by drawing carbon number six. Okay. So it'll be here. Uh, sorry for that. Let me transfer then this to that side. Then I come here. Yes, here we will have a. Yes, here we will have your CH2OH. That will be carbon number six there. Then here at carbon number one, the OH group will be on this position. Let me draw that position. OH there. Since it is galactose, carbon number OH and carbon number two will be down. If I can use the, that word, here it will be up there. OH there. Here it will be also here. OH there. Okay. So this this is beta. Beta D galactose, this it's beta D galactose. Obviously, the ones which have left, those are the hydrogens. I assume you know that those are just hydrogens there. Those are hydrogens. So from beta D galactose to alpha, alpha D galactose here, the enzyme responsible for that reaction is known as Galactose mutarotase. Galactose mutarotase. Let me write galactose mutarotase. So galactose mutarotase enzyme is responsible for that reaction. It is also known as, I abbreviate it as GALM, G A. LM, GALM, galactose mutalotase. So it'd be the same here, GALM here. 
So how does it uh, con convert it from this is beta position? Only this OH here will come to this position. So it will cease from being that position, then it will come to that position. Everything else will be the same. OH will be here. Or carbon number two, number three, here. Number four, here. OH there. And uh, the last the last one here you will be just a CH2. OH. Okay. So this this compound there up. So this this is beta D galactose and so this alpha D galactose is this. Why D? Why are you calling it D? Because of this. The let me point it with another color. Say yellow. Because of this. The CH2OH group is in this position here up. If it was in this position here down, or uh, let me even uh, do it by showing you which position. If it was in this position, let's say it was in this position there. It would cease from being a beta D galactose. It would be a beta L galactose. Okay. So when it is up there, yeah, it is a beta D galactose. Okay. So the enzyme responsible there is uh, galactose mutalotase. Then from alpha D galactose now, why are we converting it to alpha? Because the next enzyme can only act on the alpha galactose, alpha D galactose. That enzyme is known as galactose kinase. Galactose kinase enzyme. What does a kinase do? A kinase simply phosphorylates. It adds a phosphate group. So it will add a phosphate group to carbon number one. Carbon number one, yeah, it will add a phosphate group. So it is this compound. So at this position, we will add a phosphate group. So it is this position here. This is where we are supposed to add a phosphate group. So, and O and OP3 will be oh, phosphate group will be added in this position somewhere there. You can look at the drawings. Okay. So let's return the OH there. But it will be added at that position. Hydrogen will be removed. And the phosphate group will be added there to become galactose one phosphate. Then the galactose one phosphate, galactose one phosphate is combined with UDP glucose, uridine diphosphate glucose. This reaction is catalyzed by an enzyme known as the gal galactose. One phosphate uridyl transferase, a very long, very long name. I will simply write it as GALT. Or you can simply call it galactose, galactose one phosphate transferase. So, so it's its actual name. It's it. Let's write the actual name then. The Galactose, galactose one, one phosphate, galactose one phosphate, uridyl, 
Yuli di dael. Transfaris. Trans. Transfaris. It transfers a group. So let me see if I can move it to fit it there. Somehow. Yes. So the it is known as a galactose one phosphate uridyl transferase. So in this reaction, this glucose, see what how the reaction does? The galactose is the one now takes up a UDP group. Okay. So it is the galactose now which will take up a UDP group and become this UDP galactose and the glucose will be the one now you have a phosphate group to form glucose one phosphate a glucose one phosphate over there then UDP galactose remember galactose and glucose they are epimers in fact galactose is a C4 epimer of glucose what do I mean at carbon number four, that is where there is a difference only, okay? So let's come back here to our, to our, to our drawing here. So this, this is a galactose because see this hydroxyl group here, here, it is, it is here up. So remember this is carbon number one here, number two here, number three here, number four here. So this OH group, when it is at that position, it is, this is galactose. But if I take it, sorry, if I take it and bring it, I just like this, there. This ceases to be galactose. Now it is glucose. Just from up there to down there. Now this is glucose. So this compound will be, this, since this OH is up here, this is still beta, and this is D position, so it will be beta D glucose, okay? So this is glucose, essentially. Glucose and galactose are C4 epimers. Then there is a, also another compound known as mannose. Mannose is a C2 epimer of glucose. So a C2 simply means you see this OH at carbon number two. For glucose, it is at that position. But if I decide just to do it the same, if I take it there up, the compound will cease from glucose. Now this compound is mannose. So this is mannose. So, but we are interested in glucose. That was just a by the way. So let's return it back, uh, down there. So this is glucose. So once we have these galactose, now from galactose, you can see galactose is converted all the way with this arrow to UDP glucose by an enzyme known as an epimerase. So it will be an epimerase, but which epimerase? A four prime. So a four, a four, four prime, four prime epimeris, okay? So a four prime epimeris. I don't know if it will allow me to write from there, but I can write from here, epimeris. Epim Epimeris, an epimeris. So that is what an epimeris does. Okay. So let me move it closer to there. A four prime epimeris. Okay. From gal UDP galactose to UDP glucose. Okay. Then this glucose one phosphate here, the glucose one phosphate formed this glucose one phosphate here is converted to glucose six phosphate by another enzyme, by another very interesting enzyme, which I usually call it the 
phosphoglucomutase. Phosphoglucomutase. Okay. So don't confuse phosphoglucomutase. Remember now uh, in the in the other reactions, in the other reactions are uh, the other reactions. Don't confuse this one. If I can go down, yes, like this. Now, don't, don't be confused. Remember, let me show you even this cycle. Sorry for those arrows. Those arrows were, they are, the red arrows are moving together. It is not moving. So you can see in this reaction here, glucose 6-phosphate is converted to fructose 6-phosphate. This enzyme here is phosphoglucoisomerase, but the enzyme we had initially here is phosphoglucomutase. So glucose 6-phosphate enters now glycolysis, or it can be converted back to glucose by glucose 6-phosphatase, that is gluconeogenesis. So I want you to understand these four enzymes. There are just four in the Lilua pathway. Galactose, mutarotase, galactose, kinase, galactose, one phosphate, phosphate uridyl transferase or GALT, galactose transferase. And this also, I can call this, this I can also call it GIL. Uh, let me do it in. So, those four enzymes, galactose epimerase. So it is a UDP galactose four prime epimerase enzyme. Okay. So those four enzymes, galactose, mutarotase, galactose, kinase, galactose, uridyl transferase or GALT, then GIL. Then there are conditions, some conditions, clinical conditions known as uh, galactosemia. Okay, galactosemia, we have type one, type two, type three. Type one affects uh, the transferase, type two, the kinase, the type three, the epimerase. Okay, I don't know if I have a, 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 a text I can show you maybe. Let's see. Uh, So let me, so let me remove those arrows. There, ah, here it is. So this galactose here is uh, the beta form. Sorry for not indicating. So the beta form galactose here, when you have this, this red arrow shows a, a deficiency of this enzyme. Let's start with this. From galactose one phosphate, can see this reaction where it is combined with the UDP glucose, where we said it is the galactose one phosphate, you read it uh, transferase. This is, if you have deficiency of this enzyme, that is galactosemia. Classic galactosemia or galactosemia type one. So if you have uh, this, you can see, you can read there the, the, the symptoms, you can post the video you read or you make some notes. So this is galactosemia type one when you have deficiency of this, then type two galactokinase. If you have type two galactose, type two, there would be accumulation of galact beta D galactose. Then in the lens, in the lens of the eyes, we have an enzyme known as aldose lidactase. It converts beta D galactose to galactitol, galactitol. Galactitol causes the lens to absorb water, okay? Once it absorbs water, you, the lens becomes opaque. It leads to lens opacity. Lens opacity is what we call cataracts, okay? Cataracts. So, I hope even this is a good one. This is beta D galactose. 
galactokinase, you use one ATP there to glucose, galactose one phosphate, then you combine it with a UDP glucose by GALT to form glucose one phosphate and UDP galactose, UDP galactose by the UDP galactose four prime. This should be a four prime here, a PMRS to UDP glucose. So also glucose one phosphate I've said by phosphoglucomutase to glucose six phosphate, which can either enter glycolysis or in the liver, it undergoes gluconeogen. It enters the gluconeogenetic gluconeo, gluco. It will be converted to glucose by glucose six phosphatase via gluconeogenesis. So that is there. And uh, also, this, yeah, so that is the pathway. So this pathway, you can see here, glucose one phosphate to UDP glucose. This is path, another path, pathway, which is known as the isobacha, isobacha pathway. I will uh, can look at the isobacha pathway at another video. So thank you for your attention and uh, subscribe for more.